bombastic, fantastic man. Hey everybody, this is El Viejo Toro for Fancy Action Now in the beautiful Zen Lounge, my typical Demons's. This is where I create content for you. Anyway, uh, this is a uh, uh, like a mammoth watershed uh, game pickup. It's going to be Need for Games uh, Pawn Pursuit because I went to a pawn shop today. I had a little, I had a little tickle somewhere in the extrasensory perception that said you should go to that particular pawn shop because I recently had a very bad experience with some pawn shop that was trying to trying to paint a turd literally and charge way too much for their games and they're comparing GameStop to themselves and it was bad it was bad it was a walk away there were titles there that I wanted they wouldn't deal and I'm like, okay. So I was just kind of like, you know, a little growly about that and for a couple days and uh, uh, it made it into my videos, of course. And uh, so something told me, something was like, you really need to go to that one particular store where you got such a good deal the other day, a uh, while, months ago. And I'm like, well, I don't really feel like going out there. I just had a bad pawn shop thing and I'm like, uh, you know, your inner golem is like, no, my precious, go. Go and get, go and see, you know, it's like, so I'm like, okay, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to get my car, I'm going to roll down there, it's not that far, it's quite close, uh, it is in a little, little, little shady area, I kind of live in a nice neighborhood that borders a really tough area, and, um, y you know, it, y you just drive a certain direction for a certain period of time, and it's, Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, it's like not, not very, uh, not very nice. So um, I went into the pawn shop, and they had bins. They had like two. They had like a double stack bin, and then two other bins on the counter. And then the, the whole game rack had been totally refilled, and they just had tons and tons of original Xbox and PS2. And there were some, there were some that they got from one person because they wrote all, I don't know, there's some, every once in a while you get one of these people that likes to write on everything. He took permanent black marker and wrote the dates he played on the game and, uh, um, you know, little notes. And not even in the notes in the book that nobody uses. He was just writing it all over the case and all over the CD and all over the instruction manual, not in the notes area, on the cover. And I'm like, so many like valuable games too, valuable games, totally ruined, totally ruined. But outside of that, and there were some, there were some beat up titles in there, but amidst all of that was a, just a, a treasure trove. And I went up literally, not quite 20, but almost 20, I believe it was 19 titles. I took 19 original Xbox and PlayStation titles up to the counter and I'm like, yeah, man, you got a lot of stuff here. How about a buck, a buck a piece? He's like, okay. I'm like, da, 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 one dollar games. That's what I'm, I'm living for that. I love that. One do, I can do one dollar games. One dollar games for original Xbox and PS2. That's that's what I'm talking about. So I had such a good experience. He had he had like some really nice copies of PS3. I got a few PS3 copies. And there were a couple 360s I put back. He's like, you sure you don't want those too? I'll do three on those. And I'm like, honestly, that's a great deal. I just I was looking at them. They were a curiosity. I was not interested in them, but. Um, I got, um, I don't know, I don't remember if there's any 360 titles in here, but the PS3 titles, one of which I've never seen, never heard about, I haven't seen it in obscure titles for the PS3, or hidden gems, or I haven't heard about this game anywhere. And I watch a lot of game TV, baby. I watch a lot, you know, 
Review Tech, uh, you know, Escape to Gaming with Vinnie Corleone, uh, Metal Jesus, Happy Console Gamer, um, uh, Adam Karolik, uh, um, um, Alpha Mega Sin, uh, <laughs> many, many more. Pat the NES Punk, I watch his crap. Um, I mean, I watch a lot of gaming stuff. I pretty much, that's pretty much my TV is that, and that's it. You know, between making videos, cutting them, gaming itself, and then watching game TV, that's pretty much what I do. And then I, you know, I have a regular job and stuff like that, but I mean, that's my entertainment, man. So I've never heard of this game. So I was just like, whoa, and it's really got a cool vibe to it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, spoiler right yet. But I'm gonna step aside, I'm gonna move my large, very wide uh, body, husky, you know, tough skins from uh, Sears coming up. Yeah, the husky boy, yeah, that was me. Anyway, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Booyah. So I have my massive bag from Cash America Pawn right here. We are gonna go through some of this um, and let you see what a dollar per game can do for my general mood. Wow, woo, here it is. Now this game, I just pulled off my rack because I missed some stickers. So this is gonna be kind of a, kind of a, um, uh, a pickups video along with kind of a cleanup thing. What do I do to clean up my, my games? Well, for one, Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes. I like Clorox. Those are key, man. You gotta have those. Entire bag of games. Not under 40 bucks. Under, and I wouldn't have spent that either, but it was, he had so many inexpensive titles. And man, when you run into that, nowadays it used to be you could go three or four places, maybe even five or six places and find dollar, two dollar games. Now they're all, now they're all collectible game shops and they're all way too up on their high horse. And, but this guy knew exactly what he was supposed to be doing, which is letting these go for a buck a piece. And I mean, when you average it, I mean, literally, the majority of this bag is a dollar a piece. You know, and it's just, well, I mean, we just, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. So anyway, here we go. So, Pinball, the Gottlieb Collection. This is super cool, man. I love this kind of stuff. I love this kind of stuff. I love pinball. And again, it's generational. I grew up when game, uh, what, what would you call them? Like, they used to even call them pinball parlors. Uh, they were just, you know, um, arcades. Arcades, when I was coming up, were mostly pinball. You had one or two game cabinets. I mean, remember, you gotta remember, I came up wearing Atari. Or, and, uh, you know, Space Invaders was the first big video game arcade craze and uh, just all kinds of stuff, man. I saw it all from day one on. So, you know, um, I, love, I love pinball to this day. I will play pinball. So, yeah, my mother actually worked her way through college at a pizza joint and I would go there with her every summer and it was like this like beach town. Uh, on the Jersey Shore, and we just hang out and go to the 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 the, the quarter the quarter fifty cent movies, and they had like only two movies, and I mean, just Americana, man. I I came up. I, sometimes I think, man, maybe my generation was the last one to get the Americana experience, man, because it's like just crazy corporate now. But anyway, so um, some good things about that too. It's not all bad. So back here, we have this mega bag, Pawn Shop Pursuit. Pawn Pursuit, baby, need for games. We're gonna go through this bag, check out what we've got in here, and will you believe it? And I'm gonna go get my wipes, because these are just, they're still in the bag from the Pawn Shop. This is a few hours after this pickup, it's now nighttime, so I don't get terrible glare on my TV and stuff like that. This is about the nice, uh-oh, my video's done. Whoa! Resistance 3, which I think I already have. I'm gonna have to check, but it is a beautiful copy. 
Now, I am starting to use my phone, an app on my phone, to keep track of my collection because it's now to that point where mentally I'm pretty good about what I have and what I don't have, but sometimes I see something like this that's an exceptionally clean copy, except for the stickers. Except for, if it's a very clean copy, the case is clean, the plastic is clean, the art is clean, the disc is flawless, the book is flawless, and I may have a duplicate copy. If I have duplicates, I am going to start offering those as contact contest prizes to my viewers. So stay tuned. If I have any duplicates, those are going to go to you, the viewer. Okay? All right. You don't know Jack. Fresh new scent. Um, I like these games. And if you've ever had a girlfriend out there, gamers, if you've ever had a girlfriend and had people over, or just you and your girlfriend, or you and your friend, and you and you play these, these are a lot of fun. This, this, this is funny. It's like trivia, but it's funny. It's entertaining. I've always enjoyed these. And they're on a lot of platforms. I mean, back in the day, I mean, God, I think... I'm not sure. I think even 3DO had one, but like the PS1, PS2, particularly like PS2 and Xbox generation, and the next one after that um, uh, are known during that time. The, the big heyday of this was like PS1, PS2, that kind, those generations. So, but this is a PS3 version, THQ Jelly Vision Games. But uh, I've always enjoyed them. They're super entertaining, and then again, if you do have a social life, you have somebody come over, and you want something to do. I love stuff like this, because if you're a gamer, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm always trying to bridge the gap between non-gamers in my life and me, and, and my life of, of being involved in gaming, because not everybody's into video games. Not everybody likes video games. Some people have never played a video game, even in this day and age with the phones and the pads and all that. There's just some people that just don't, they're just not into it or they're very casual or, you know, they're just like, yeah, I know about all that and I'm not into that. So when you have somebody, particularly like uh, a girlfriend or a female, if you're dating somebody and they're not necessarily a gamer, you kind of need something that you can do with them so they, they don't feel left out, you know? And a lot of times if you date a girl who isn't into video games, doesn't get video games, and you're a gamer, it's tough. It's tough because they're just like, yeah, what am I doing? I sit here and watch you? Um, okay, well, I don't, I'm not into gaming. What, what, what else should we do? You know, and it's like, well, look, why don't we play this? You know, like I, I did a video a long time ago where I talked about a girlfriend, and I, she liked Jeopardy, so I got Jeopardy the video game. Look at that. I mean, hello. Hello, like new. All right. I'm going to save this one for last. Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. Uh, Vinnie Corleone kind of turned me on to these of Escape to Gaming. Um, I've kind of seen them and just kind of eschewed them. But he gave them a chance, and uh, I think I'm going to give it a chance. So, I mean, it's, there's like three of these. There's like, a, there's like three in a series. Anytime I see that, it's a series that I don't know and I don't play. But um, I see that there has been multiple iterations. You know they're doing something right because it just doesn't get green lit for a second and then a third installment unless it's a unless it has some merit. Uh, that's my lit man. This is the greatest hits version. It's got the move, you know, libel the move. I've heard um, again. This is another one of Vinnie Corleone, uh, of Vinnie Corleone '62 of um, Escape to Gaming. Um, he likes Mag. Man, I already have this, but this was a pristine copy. I mean, just look at it. Look, look at the look at the condition of this copy. Sitting in a pawn shop in the bad part of town of Tampa, Florida, just waiting there for someone. And it was just such a gorgeous copy. I already have a copy of this, and I'd forgotten that, but I do have a copy of it. But I'm going to check in and see if it's as nice as my copy. If this copy's better, I'll keep this one. And then I will throw the extra one out to you via a contest. And there it sat on the very top shelf, on the very top stack, when I went in to look at, it was right at eye level. It was like waiting for me right there. And I'm like, is that a PS3 title? Whoa. And I, it was the very first one that I picked off of this shelf. And I looked at it and I'm like, 
It looks like an early title. It needs to be cleaned up. This is the sequel or the remaster of Vampire Rain. Vampire Rain Altered Species. Vampire Rain Altered Species. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Very unique looking title. It's in excellent condition. It has the look of an earlier PS3 title. And I've never heard about a thing about this game. I'm very intrigued. And it's got vampires and ghouls and zombies on the cover. Disc is um, looking looking good. It's, 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 it's nice. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's 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 nice. It's okay. Full color manual. Altered species. Very high production. Very dramatic artwork. It's got a very steel, like a neo gothic vibe to it. It's full color. Very reminiscent of like Resident Evil. Kind of like the later versions, you know. But um, super, super high production value. Again, you got to remember, this is a pawn shop in a beat down part of town. It's kind of got like a musical thing to it. In a beat down part of town, there's a game store and a pawn shop. All right. So here is the mini kind of marquee, you know, movie marquee poster it has a very cinematic look to it you know like with a quickness so i'm very it, this is going to get played like really quick really quick so we will do the ps2s this it's ratchet and clank going commando and i couldn't believe that i found that there and you know it's got the you know kicking kicking us yeah so it's a nice looking copy. It's got a metallic, metallic cover throughout, front and back. It's got like a, you open it up, looking good. Original case. You've got this envelope where it actually has, the. this is like a protective sleeve for the manual. We'll do this. The actual long manual. Wow, almost like a uh, an automobile owner's manual, very much like that. The collection of weapons, it's really a collectible. The, the manual in and of itself is a collectible. And it's in, it's in really, really, I wouldn't call it new, but I would call it um, excellent condition or very good. If I was selling it, I would probably say very good and exceed their expectation. It's got to be KO, the kangaroo. K, because it's got like a boxing theme to it. KO, the kangaroo two. And again, was there a one? There must have been. I've never heard of it, but it's in a, it's uh, published by Atari. Um, K, KO round two, the kangaroo. And he kind of looks like one of those like trying to be one of be extreme characters that were so plentiful in this generation. They've got some kind of like um, Scarlet Macaw as his like, Mexican friend is he's wearing a um, uh, sombrero and I see him like on a surfboard or something or like a, a snowboard so who knows but anyway original case book looks good looks really good when I see something different like this especially it's one of these one of these quote unquote extreme characters yeah I do I do grab it the other series Jack 2 in the greatest hits box You've got the, you know, instruction manual, manual, original case, and again, big, tall manual. Manual looks great. You know, what do you want? I'm like, wow, one dollar. Was Family Guy the video game? <laughs> wow, Family Guy video game. So, I am a Family Guy fan. You know, sometimes I just feel like apologizing for that at the same time. But I am, I am one. It's too hot for TV. There's the, um, there's the fire truck, uh, the hunting, I don't know if you can see that, but it's the hunting fire truck and the antelope, if you remember that episode. So, um, yeah, there's Meg with her, there's Meg with her butt on fire. 
Isn't Meg like just a teen suicide? Is that, isn't that what they what they set her up for? So I took a look at it, and man, it just looks super clean. Super clean, you know? Yeah, man. Wow. I had a bunch of copies of this. Um, and um, I'm not too proud to say like I switched a better disc out for the better case in the manual. Oops! But I can tell you right now here, square, by the level, by the square, that they did not care. So, this has got a very dark atmosphere to it. Even the, God, even the, even the, even the case is like dark camo. Like they're trying to even be stealthy on the game, you know? Crazy. So, online, broadband only. SOCOM 3 U.S. Navy SEALs. Motocross Mania 3. Remember what I said about series? When you have multiple series, there's got to be something about it that people like. And they'll get again, or there's some mechanics that they like. So you got a guy on here, he's doing... He's doing tricks. He's doing tricks, and you know, he, he's got a, on the cover, he's got like a cricket bat. It's got a super low budget artwork. Like the artwork itself says low budget, but I'm anxious to see what it's like. It looks pretty good. Here we go, right? There you go. Six dollars. Six dollars for Motocross Mania 3, SOCOM 3 US Navy SEALs, Family Guy the Video Game, Jack 2. KO2 the Kangaroo, and Ratchet and Clank going Commando. Awesome, awesome stuff. Awesome sauce. I mean, the six bucks is worth it just for this. Just for Ratchet, man. Wow, here is the mother load. This is the Mega Hall right here. Okay, for one dollar, say what you want. Booyah, I'll try it, I'll play it, I hope it's good. Here's one I couldn't resist. It's it's in a little bit of a beat up condition. I don't know if this is the original case. It is in a black case versus the green case, but it is the Xbox, um, the original Mafia. And again, we're all we're all getting ready to play Mafia Three now, but this is the original one. Mm -hmm. So this is a ah uh, I see oh and look here. There's the original Blockbuster receipt. They paid, uh, he paid uh, $9.99 with a coupon, and he got a two, $2.50 discount on it, so he paid $7.49 for this game originally, and I paid a dollar. Now, it's rough. It's one of these weird Xboxy cases. The disc is really good. Again, I hadn't polished this one yet, but it looks, looks really good. Anyway, and the, it's got, a, what I notice in these cases, it tends to crimp the manual a little bit. So the manual's not A, but it is B. Zenith pack, well we don't like you Zenith pack. So block, it's a blockbuster, yeah, someone when it folds it, it like, it, 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 it's the manual's a little bit wider than the actual case is designed for. So it kind of is a little hard on the manual when you get one of these blockbuster ones, but, other than that, I'm going to put it in a different case that'll that'll fit nice. But uh, other than that, it is a sterling copy. It looks really good. It was one dollar. I couldn't resist. I want to play the original before I play three. So I've never played the original, and I'm a big fan of the Godfather films as well. So. Godfather Part Two, man. Oh wow. Oh wow. Who's naive now, Kay? Who's being naive now? The businessmen don't kill anybody. Oh my God, really? Mm -hmm. Tell that to India. Sorry, India. This is Pirates, The Legend of Black Cat. And I have no idea what, it's like a female. There are so many male, like, um, male protagonists in the Pirates universe. There's always a hot girl sidekick, but this is this is one where it's the female is the main protagonist in there. So go girls, go girls, go girls. I love these pirate games. I'm going to definitely look into it and play them as long as it just doesn't get annoying and fetchy. As soon as they start getting fetchy, these games, uh, they lose me. But the disc looks amazing. The game looks amazing. 
and we'll be trying that. Wouldn't be nice if this was like HD compatible? It's not telling me. Because only a few of those, only like about 50 games really run in like, I mean they all run in like a 480i, but um, you know, the 720p's really look good on the Xbox. Wow, this one is kind of rough. And it is bleached out a little bit, or maybe that is the plastic, but I think it is bleached out a little bit. It's, it's a little beat up, but it's so unique. It's Kabuki Warriors, and you're in charge of a Kabuki troop that they're, they're like performing fighters. So like, it's almost like what would be professional wrestling over here, where you got this roving troop and they all have their personas and they, they mock fight and you know, they're very athletic and gymnastic and you know, whatever. So it's Crave. Man, Crave puts out a lot of games. You never hear anybody talking about Crave. Oh, there's Funk in here. There's Funk on the booklet. It's got the original Duke. You know, in the manual, you see that? The original Duke controller. <laughs> yeah. So the book has to be cleaned. The case, the case can be, the whole thing can be cleaned up. So, but it's unusual and I couldn't resist. And all the components are here. Again, I'm in Tampa, Florida in, you know, the bad part of town. And I'm like, I'm finding Kabuki Warriors. It's just so weird to me. It's like, that's the cool part is you never, you come across something like this, you're like, what? Oh my God. Siberia, these games are really interesting. They're kind of like a Euro point and click, misty, you know, uh, CG rendered kind of thing. But it's like a, like a, like a, a clockwork town that, you know, everything's a clockwork and it's very steampunky and she's like from the real world and she comes to this, you know, this, this, this wonderland of clockwork people and, and everything. God darn it, is it a clean copy? Gosh darn it, when I look at this, I mean like it's just fantastic. <laughs> brute force. <laughs> I don't know if I want to pay more than a dollar for brute force. But um, fight through 18 missions across six unique worlds. Download new single, okay, whatever. Okay, this is looking real like early 90s to me. Super early 90s. The whole thing looks early 90s, very Schwarzenegger. He's isn't even a guy that looks like Schwarzenegger on that. It is an Xbox exclusive. It is sticker funked somewhat. I actually took some of it off. There's the original SKU sticker on there. $45 for Bruce. And now it's $1, what it's worth. Gee whiz. The original Ghost Recon, I don't think I have it. I'm pretty sure I do not. The disc is flawless. The book is flawless. The case is flawless. It's like new. This is the, you know, this is the start of the series and it looks fantastic. And it's a perfect copy and it's $1. <laughs> I never get tired of saying it. No, I don't. This was one that Vinnie Corleone uh, 62 over at Escape to Gaming put on my shortlist. And I was so surprised to find it in the wild. And he even says that this is a kind of a rare one. But Shell Shock Nom 67 by Eidos and Guerrilla Games. It looks really good. Now there's a little marker, pawn shop mark on the case, which I can get out. It looks fantastic. The book looks flawless. I'm gonna pop the disc. The disc has some few, a few scratches on there. It's not and it's not it's not flawless. But God, if you I, I don't know if I can see it, but it's not not exactly what I would cry about. I would say A minus B plus. So no problem there. So I got Shell Shock Nam 67, and he really likes this particular game, and I am anxious to try this one out. The last one just happens to be. UFC Tap Out, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, again by Crave. I think Crave makes like 40% of the games on the Xbox. I just keep seeing Crave, 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 Crave. And that's where they're like, yeah, say our name, say our name. Anyway, very big, beefy manual. The manual looks very good. I mean, there's a little dinging on the top here. 
Um, but, you know, other than that, it's very crispy. It's like it's never been looked at. The disc looks good. This looks real good. So all my discs, I'm really happy for these dollar games, man. My did that I would call that a a condition. So you've got you've got some sticker funk. The outside needs to be cleaned up. It's got a long scratch in the front of the case. You see it goes down the line. But you know, oh well. You now for one dollar, a very nice copy. Overall package is probably B plus, A minus. We're gonna get the Xbox out here. The PlayStation 2 out here. All of this, okay, all of this, $19. A buck a game, a buck a game. Some of them are marked two, some of them are marked more than that, but for this one's marked five bucks. But they were in the mood to move some, move some inventory, and they had, they were overstocked. And that's when they come down. Really had a wonderful time today. Got some really unique titles. Very excited to play. I'm really loving the original Xbox. Um, you know, I'm getting back into just playing the original Xbox. And it's so much simpler, man. It's that to put it in, play it, and leave it, man. No downloads, no updates. You forgot to shut the console off properly. Now we have to go and we have to check for updates. And then we have to do this and we have to check the disc. It's like, yeah, I shut it off improperly. Boop, there you go. You know, I mean, it's just so much, so much simpler. I mean, that's one of those things where you have to respect um, that game generation, that last Xbox PS2, that last generation where we got to enjoy the simplest of gaming experiences. Put it in HD quality, you know, it's 480i, 720p sometimes, and the games were excellent. You know, it's just... If you had to stop there, that would be a decent place to stop. I'm glad we're out here and we're doing all this hybrid PC experience, but the, the last real console where you can enjoy that was that Xbox, PS2, and, uh, you know, GameCube, Wii. Uh, not even the Wii, but GameCube. But, uh, man, you know, those were the days. Those were the days, and I love reliving them here on Fancy Action Now. You with me? You with me? Come along, let's go. Crave, 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 crave. <laughs> Brute force. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nice. Say our name, say our name. It's very crispy, it's okay. It's, 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 it's nice, it's okay. 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 It's okay.